I'm doing, trying to do somebody go hey. I just let the music come from my soul So all of my people can stay on the floor They got a brand new dance You gotta move your muscles A brand new dance huh? It's called a Cupid Shuffle hey. It don't matter if you're young or you're old Here we go We gonna show you how We've had here today almost 2,000 people. On behalf of Health First, we'd like to say how honored we are to be out here with him. One out of every three people who you see standing in line is actually a Health First member. And to those Health First members, I speak of the Vice President of Health First, of 4,000 people, when I say how honored we are to work for them, how privileged we are that they have selected Health First. One of the many things that we do to make this Brownsville community a healthy village. We say healthy village, we're talking about clinical health, but we also want to eliminate domestic violence. We also want to eliminate uh, the penal reform that we need here. We want more kids to join gangs, but we want them to be more house men. We want them to go to Morehouse University. We want women to join gangs. We want them to be Spelman women. We want them to go to Spelman University. We want these parents to continue to take that long bus ride, four, six, eight hours upstate, to see their kids. But we want that bus ride to be to Syracuse University, to Albany State, to Cornell University, to New, New Pulse. And so in Health First, working here with BMS, working with the Resident Association President, working with uh, Reggie Bowman, the uh, Resident Association President of this area, the former Resident Association President for all nights in the city of New York. We are committed to working with Health First, BMS, Reggie, uh, Brookdale Hospital, Kings County Hospital, to make this Brownsville housing complexes our healthy village. We want to make sure that we also thank Health First and Mr. Hulse for their many years of being committed to rebuilding our community and getting ready for the future. And looking forward, this is the type of activity that we would like to see happen in all of our communities so that we continue to make sure that our children go from house to college instead of from house to the penitentiary. So we want to again thank Mr. Hulse and Health First for their commitment to the community and we want to thank everyone who's here today for being involved in this activity and this effort so that we can rebuild the bridges and a strong community for all of Brownsville and for the surrounding New York. And let me say thank you to you for constantly being a good community partner, for having the vision. You are our lens. You really give the community a lens for us. And we'd like to thank you for the lens that you apply to the community. You keep us connected. We have we have to use these sort of vehicles in order to keep connected because the traditional NBC, CBS, yeah, yeah. will not, CNN, they don't want to come here unless there's a homicide. They don't want to come here for the graduations. They don't want to come here for the wonderful events like this. But you continue to be our vehicle. You keep us connected. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you very much. That's right. Join effort, join effort with us coming together, trying to bring our vision. Because I grew up in Tiffany Island as a kid, went through all the stuff that everybody else went through. And my, my job was to help the kids who might not be strong enough to get out how I got out, you know? So we still here to start the community and part of the job. It makes it better because the resources come together, it makes it grow. And right now, it's for the future, for the kids. For all of us. Thank you so right. much. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work and make sure health first, health first, healthy village, health first. That's right.